Me hearing my ex-wife get home early when I thought I had the house to myself for a few hours. Me welcoming my dinner party guest after having a few pre-drinks just to loosen up. Broke out my window. Which one? And this is me when someone who dumped me 10 years ago and is now divorced with two kids and four stone heavier messages me and says they always regretted losing me. Here I am, here I am. Good. Well, how are you today, sir? Very well, I say, sir. Run away, run away. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. I'm going in early this year with top 10 spring fragrances. It's coming towards the end of January now, and I love coming towards the end of January. And I've got to be honest with you guys, I've had enough of the winter. We've got a month of full-on winter, February left. But, but you know, before, we, before you know it, the spring buds will be showing. So I'm looking forward to springtime, and I thought I'd go with my 10 fragrances that I'm most excited to wear this spring, 2024. Before we do that, don't forget we've got an amazing offer on a bundle deal at NortonandWilson.com for all four of our fragrances, including this one, Gravitas Essentia. And that's just $380 in the USA. In the UK, Bon Viver is sadly out of stock. We're looking to fix that, but you can get the other three for a similarly great price. Don't miss it. NortonandWilson.com. Link in the bio. Watch of the day today is the Rolex GMT Master, a great 1999 iteration of that classic uh, time-telling, unlike all, <laughs> all watches tell the time. It tells you the time in two time zones. Very useful for people with an auntie in Australia. Okay, let's get on with it, guys. Uh, Ten amazing fragrances. So for springtime, of course, we're looking for fresh fragrances a little bit. The mood starts to get a little bit more optimistic. Sometimes in winter, we want our richer fragrances, our leathery ones. I've always said it doesn't really matter what season it is. You can wear oud fragrances in hot weather. They're from Arab countries originally, after all. And you can wear a fresh soapy citrus fragrance in the middle of January. I often do. But anyway, these ones have that spring feel, a little bit of floral notes, that optimistic vibe about them. Let's get stuck into it. Let me know what you think of the list down below. And I'll get straight in. So first of all, yes, it's got to be. It's the perennial favourite for the springtime. GIT Spring in a Bottle Green Irish Tweed from Creed. This is a 1985 release from Pierre Bourdon. I used to have the old version, and my old one, has actually the notes have gone off. I've had it like six or seven years. So they, some fragrances do go off. I don't think I did anything wrong in how I kept it. And some of the citrus accords in that one, it's lost its magic. So this was a gift from someone very special in my life and very uh, incredibly over generous gift they know who they are so thank you so much for that uh, wonderful gift which means a lot to me the note listing for this one currently on fragrantica lemon verbena iris violet leaf ambergris and sandalwood it is just this fantastic grass i think lemon verbena is probably in there too it is fantastically fresh in a grassy green way with this wonderful ambergris accord in there the famous creed ambergris it's absolutely fantastic it's kind of the rich man's davidoff cool water composed by Pierre Bourdon back in 1985 it was released absolutely stunning just really really classy classy is the word you can use for this one works all year round for me but it really does have that spring smell the smell of the Irish countryside without the IRA checkpoints absolutely love that one let's go on, move on to Beau de Jour Tom Ford Absolutely love this stuff. A classic aromatic fougere 2020 release. Lavender, rosemary, oak moss, mint, basil, geranium, patchouli, and amber. It's, again, a very classy, gentlemanly fragrance. These are the kind that I like, but this one, a more recent release. And it's everything I love in a fragrance. It really has these aromatics, the herbals and stuff, the mint, the basil, the, the geranium. It's very aromatic. The rosemary, the lavender, the classic uh, kind of compulsory barbershop accord of lavender in there. It's clean, it's fresh, and yet it's complex, it's rich. And it really is masterful stuff. Something very magical about Beau de Jour from Tom Ford. Uh, both of those quite expensive niche fragrances. I also want to include, well, let's call it an honourable mention, Gravitas Essentia, Norton and Wilson. Fantastic uh, flanker to our own Gravitas Perom, an aromatic fougere. And this is an aromatic fougere with a bit more of a citrus leaning with bay, leaf, mint and artemisia added. And it kind of accents the citrus accords within the original Gravitas formula to give you a fresher, let's say, eau de sport cousin to Gravitas Perón, which makes it fantastic for springtime. Let's move on to something that's much more affordable for you guys. This is Aqua de Pino Fougere, and I really love this one. I've been uh, touting for years Aqua de Pino Cologne, the citrus one from this company. It's by Pino Silvestre, but this one's really, really good. It's by perfumer Nizrin Buatsui Grill. <laughs> Great. 2021 release, fur, C-notes. Uh, Brazil, or Brazilian orange, I meant to say, my favourite kind of orange. 
Argentinian orange, forget it. Italian leaves, no, Italian lemon, pink pepper, lavender, geranium, clary sage, violet leaves, apple, atlas cedar, Haitian vetiver, musk, amber, and patchouli. Really nice green, soapy, fresh fragrance. Wonderful. I spray it on the bed sheets sometimes when I'm not spraying other things on the bed sheets. And this is really great for that kind of clean, fresh, not fresh linen smell, but it's, it smells great on your fresh linen or on your clean white shirt. Fantastic, good performance, amazing value for like less than £20 for a 125ml bottle. Absolutely high rec highly recommended green, soapy, fresh fragrance. Quality just smells great for the money. I can't, I can't believe it. Uh, one of the discontinued gems in the, the video, although some, someone tells you, me you can get this at the Van Cleef store in Paris. Van Cleef and Arpel Zar, 1989 relief, uh, release from Philippe Busseton, the perfumer, a woody aromatic lavender, green accords, pine, juniper, florals, there's leather, there's patchouli, there's tonka. It's a real powerhouse 80s fragrance, but with this green freshness about it, it's one of the best releases of the very late 80s, very much looking back to the 80s rather than forward to the 90s in its style classic bottle i've got this iconic um maybe 90s bottle i'm not sure really really nice fragrance for all you vintage fragrance aficionados out there let's move on to something more contemporary and we have alvarez gomez the famous spanish brand an affordable brand generally speaking 2012 release and it's barbaria alvarez gomez colonia barbaria wonderful bitter orange ginger rhubarb cedar sandalwood and musk it's fresh it's citrusy comparisons could be drawn to aqua de palma's colonia intensa so it's citrus and woody i love this spicy twist of ginger could be a bit much couldn't it too much ginger but it really works well in this beautiful citrus spices and woods very very optimistic clean dashing kind of fragrance but it's something a bit unique about that one Although I just said it smelled like an aqua de palma, so make of that what you will. Moving on, something a little bit more under the radar. Bon Monsieur from the House of Rogue Perfumery. Manuel Cross, I love this guy. I interviewed him on my channel a while back. Rogue Perfumery, and it's a classic aromatic fuchsia, similar to things like Gucci's Nobile, maybe, or a very, very much... A uh, more high quality version of Dracar Noir. I'm not saying it's in any way a clone of those, it's not, but it has lavender, oak moss, rose, geranium, fir, cedar, bergamot, carnation, sandalwood, patchouli, lily of the valley, musk, oak moss. Allegedly, he uses oak moss in proportions that you can't do if you want to get the IFRA sticker, although some people have said actually his don't have the higher proportion than the actual regulations allow. Whatever, it does have that classic oak moss, green, piney vibe. If you like a classic fougere, a classic 80s style, fresh, soapy, green, piney masculine fragrance with that rugged tea that we love so much, but with great, great quality. You cannot go far wrong with Rogue Perfumery, Bon Monsieur, very reasonably priced niche fragrance. And the Agua de Colonia uh, one there was, is a great cheapie, by the way. Let's move on. Something completely different now. And this is L'Enstant de Guerlain by Beatrice I wish my handwriting was more neat. It's by someone, Patrice something. Lemon, uh, bergamot, anise, grapefruit, jasmine, cacao, patchouli, sandalwood, tea, cedar, lavender. Uh, it's got mastic? What the f... Musk! Hibiscus seed, LME resin. I've been a bit out of practice. I've had a couple of weeks off. I had a holiday in Fuerteventura to escape the misery of the English summer. So forgive me for the less regular uploads during that period. This is amazing. It's classic Galan, kind of the Galanade is in there a little bit, kind of fresh powderiness. And it's citrus combined. Tiny hint of licorice and a tiny hint of, of smooth chocolate. But it's by no means a gourmand. It's really delicate. It's fresh. And yet it has this semi-gourmand undertone it's unique i really really love l'enstant de guerlain it's just the eau de toilette different bottle design now uh, i i i think it still smells every bit as good as my bottle that used to look like that uh how many do we have left to go just a couple here guys well no no a few more a few more armani au Porom. get the modern version it's fine amazing citrus aromatic wonderful beautiful crisp citrus patchouli and woods a bit of masculine ruggedity the unloved baby the one on the lower shelves of your armani section or your local department store amazing still probably my favorite armani fragrance the modern version is great i've got the vintage just a bit more three-dimensional if you want an amazing citrus aromatic shades of dior's eau sauvage maybe vaguely in the same ballpark as aqua de palma colonia maybe but it's got a charm all of its own oh poor on brilliant brilliant for springtime makes me happy that one as does my vintage bottle of dolce and gabbana poor on eau de toilette the stickered version means it's vintage i'm not going to go on about that it's a fantastic citrus fragrance citruses woods vetiver aromatic great herbal accords and a twist of 
tobacco makes this magical. Apparently it's now being made in Italy again. Some are saying it's back to something a little bit closer to its former glory. The vintage one has a magic all of its own, but the, the modern one is still worth investigating. Really nice, very nice kind of on the holiday in the Mediterranean, wearing your crisp white shirt with tan skin kind of vibes. Optimism for the spring. I hope I can go away again soon in springtime and a little bit more choice in Europe as the, the uh, warmth goes up northwards a little bit. It would be lovely to escape the, the March or April gloom here, and this would be a great fragrance to take to do that. We're gonna do two more. Aqua de Palma Essenza, classic, soapy, amazing, like a Neroli Portofino from Tom Ford, but better and more complex. Citruses, Bulgarian rose, vetiver, fantastic, just clean, soapy eau de cologne, but a little bit more of a forte version of a classic crisp eau de cologne. Amazing and well-priced for niche. One of my all-time favorites. And finally, Alt Innsbruck from uh, the uh, Alt Innsbruck brand, 1953, very kind of old school, rugged barbershop fragrance, kind of the German version of Brut by Fag Fabergé or Pinard Clubman from Pinard. It's great. It's musky. It's a dad smell. You may not like it. It has a bit of a menthol thing. I love it. And it's great when you're just not in the mood to think about your fragrance too much. And you maybe want to annoy some fans of modern fragrances with a real dad smell. Go get them, guys. Okay, folks, that's all. Remember to like the video if you liked it, or if you, even if you didn't, please subscribe if you enjoyed the video, or perhaps even if you didn't, maybe the next one will be better. It could hardly be worse. That's all for today. I will see you in the next video. Remember, whatever you're doing in life, let's project, and although sometimes life may stink, at least we can always smell good. Bye-bye.